You can go through life and not know what it's all about. You can go through life and not know why you are here. And you know what? You can come to worship. Help me somebody and not know why you are here. Don't you know that there's some folk who come to worship and they don't really know why? They come to worship just because they've always come to worship. They come to worship because mama brought me here, grandmama brought me here, and so they're in the church, but they've never given their lives over to the Lord of the church. They're just going through the motions. They're just caught up in the crowd and you ought not ever get caught up in the crowd because there are a whole lot of agendas in the crowd. Rather than focus on the big crowd, what we all ought to always be looking for is the beloved community. As Dr. King called it the beloved community. Don't get caught up in the big crowd. The question is, in the big crowd, is there a beloved community? There are always a whole lot of agendas in church. There are a whole lot of agendas in worship. God isn't the only one here. Don't you know the devil is here also? Je Jesus had come to town, and other folk had gone up to the festival for worship. A great crowd was gathered, but they were not all there for the same reason. That's why some could cry Hosanna on one day and hang him just a few days later. There's energy and excitement in the crowd, but don't get caught up in the crowd. Some folk will praise your name on one day, and as soon as you do one thing that disappoints you, they'll cuss you out the next. There's energy and excitement in the crowd, but what I really want is beloved community. I don't want just a mega church. I want a spirit-filled church. I want a Holy Ghost church. I, I want a real church with real folk and authentic folk. I'd rather have a handful of prayer warriors over a whole bunch of carnal Christians any day because carnal Christians will give you a headache. They don't have the spirit. They don't know why they're here in the first place. That's why they give you such a hard time because they're just here. I'd Choose a Holy Spirit-filled ensemble. Give me a Christ-centered soloist over a big old mass choir full of mean, misguided folk any day of the week. <laughs>